when we set out in 2005, when the, the bid was won, the first key thing we wanted to do was actually set out to be the best prepared and best supported team um, ever. In 2005, you've got a team that is in the, in the British Olympic Association, that's about 45, 50 people. And then we grew um, throughout the, the seven year period and just before the Games, we were at about 90 people in the British Olympic Association. However, when it comes to taking a team to the Games, 551 athletes to, to look after, then you've got a whole host of volunteers and then the whole support staff that goes around them. 1,300 people, 541 of them are athletes. Um, the rest of the people have to be brought up to a certain level of knowledge very, very fast. The challenges change every single day, to be totally honest, and, and often they could be around one individual athlete. However, looking back, I think uh, the key things really were the management of information and actually ensuring that we could get information in a timely manner um, to make decisions fast. Traditionally, we would use spreadsheets, lots of Excel sheets, um, project plans, um, going into a game. So we still use them for London. However, when we actually looked at it and the risks associated with information falling through the gaps so, or, or specific uh, items falling through the gaps, we really needed to have a system in place where we could access the information, cut it in different ways into different permutations and combinations to enable us to make the right moves, decisions throughout the game. Um, so what we did was we spoke to Green4 Solutions and they came up with, actually once they understood what our different challenges were, um, our cost implications, our time constraints as well, they came up with a solution for us that was um, built on Microsoft Dynamics but then they were able to tailor it for us um, to ensure that we could de-risk the operation. Once we had uploaded all the data onto the system and built it to our requirements, um, every day during the games we were able to access it. So 6am, uh, leadership team get together and the first thing was we all had our tablets open and the, the system was there in front of us. And we actually walked through the system every morning so we could understand who was where, who was what, where, when, why. We could answer all those questions using the system in front of us. So rather than sheets of paper and spreadsheets going around the table, we were able to actively use it. Um, and then throughout the games and throughout the day, information would actively be updated on the system through a centralised team who were based in our main operations centre. Um, and they were able to keep the system updated so that a range of 250 people who had access to the system could see the information on a real-time basis through their mobile or their tablet um, and be able to, to make their decisions wherever they were throughout the country. When we were speaking to Green4 Solutions before the Games, um, we told them about our challenge around spreading out information as fast as possible, um, notably around medals. So um, they came up with a solution which was an SMS uh, that we could centrally manage um, and be able to then put out, push out information to all of the uh, team members, stakeholders um, and any key people that we needed to, to give information to. The memory when I look back on, uh, I can't believe I actually stayed awake for, for most of it. It was an exhausting period. However probably one of the most exciting periods of my life anyway. So um, to be involved is such an honour um, in something that is so unique and really did inspire the nation. So it was a team of 541 athletes, however 60 million people were screaming for them and it was a real honour to be involved in that.